Hello everyone. My name is Vidyananda Kumar. Today I'm going to show you how to test LDAP connection outside MDM using LDAP utility. The steps here apply to all the versions of MDM. In this video, we are going to see how to download, configure and run the LDAP and secure LDAP utilities and test the connection to LDAP server. If the LDAP user authentication is failing in MDM, then we can use this utility to diagnose if the issue is specific to LDAP server or MDM configuration. This utility can be run on any client machine where Java has been installed and the machine should have access to the LDAP server. Steps in this video are related to Microsoft Active Directory server. Let's look at the LDAP utility. This utility can be used if SSL is not enabled on the LDAP server. So the utility can be downloaded from this KB. As you can see, this KB has the following attachments. I have already downloaded the utility into my C drive here and I have also extracted the LDAP test.jar and the client.properties file. So now we need to configure the LDAP client properties file which has all the credentials for authentication. Let's open it. So here we need to provide all these details related to the LDAP server. So firstly we need to provide the host name or the IP address of the LDAP server machine. I have provided the host name here. And we need to specify the port. The default port for LDAP would be 389 for non-SSL connections. We have a user created an AD called test user one. So I have provided the DN in the fully qualified path format. So these are the supported formats we can use to provide DN. So firstly, there is this UPN format and then we have the fully qualified format or we can even provide the down level logon name format. And, and then we need to specify the password for the user. So once we have specified these details, we can save this file. And just for my reference, I have also noted the command to execute the utility here. So let's open a command prompt and execute this utility. So we need to be in the location where these files are accessible. So we also need to make sure that we are providing the complete path to the LDAP client.properties file. So once we execute, we can see the message that LDAP authentication is successful. This implies that the user authentication with LDAP server is successful. So the issue, if any, is likely to be with NDM LDAP configuration. If instead of this message you see LDAP authentication fail, then the reason could be that we have provided incorrect credentials in the properties file or there are some connection issues to LDAP server. Next is LDAP S utility, which is the secure LDAP utility and can be used if SSL is enabled on the LDAP server. So the utility can be downloaded from the KB. As you can see, this KB has the attachment LDAP client SSL final.zip. I have already downloaded the utility into my C drive and I have unzipped and extracted the files into the folder, as you can see. So next we need to configure the LDAP client properties file. This is similar to the non-SSL utility that we saw. So we need to provide the hostname configuration here. So we can either specify the IP address or the host name here and the port by default for SSL would be 636. And then we need to provide the DN for the test user one we have created in AD. So this again supports the following formats. We can specify in the UPN format, fully qualified or down level logon name format. Finally, we'll be providing the password for the user. So for LDAPS, we need to do some additional steps. 
So we must export the public key certificate from LDAP server and import it into the client machine for SSL communication. I have already downloaded the certificate from server. So here is my certificate from the server. So now we need to use the key tool command to import certificate into CA certs trust store. So for my reference, I have saved the key tool command to import the certificate into trust store. So let's open a command prompt and execute this. So this is the command to import. So once I execute this command, so I'm providing it the password to my key store. I am providing it the path to the certificate and the key store password and the alias for the certificate. So this is asking if I trust this certificate. So let's say yes. So now we see the message certificate was added to the key store, which means the execution was successful. So now we have imported the certificate to the CSR trust store. Next, we need to execute the utility. So this is the full command to execute the utility. We need to provide the trust store path and the trust store password. So let's, let's execute this to run the utility in a command prompt. So we see the LDAP authentication successful message. So this means that uh, there is no issue with the LDAP server connection. So the issue, if any, is likely to be with the MDM LDAP configuration. Alternately, if you see the message LDAP authentication failed, then the reason could be that we have provided incorrect credentials in the properties file or it could be a connection or a certificate related issue. Troubleshooting LDAP issue. Sometimes the client machine may not be able to resolve the provided host name, which can cause the LDAP authentication to fail, in which case we can add the host name and IP address of the LDAP server to the host file. So this is the path to the file and this can be found in the client machine. Also on execution of the LDAP utility, sometimes we might see the following error codes, in which case it is an issue with user credentials provided in the LDAP properties file and it is not an issue with the LDAP connection. The following KBs can be referred to download the LDAP utility. Hope you found the video informative. We would love to hear from you. Please leave your feedbacks and comments on support videos at informatica.com. You can also reach us on twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you for watching.